guys, welcome to Learn Extra Live. We are on Grade 11 Life Science with Llewellyn. How are you, Llewellyn? All right, and yourself? I'm great, thank you. Please tell us what we'll be doing today. Well, first of all, we're going to do cellular respiration, but I'm sure you've seen there's a lot less of me. Yes, so. there's a lot <laughs> less of you. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's too bad. I, I, I think mean, I can make it a normal haircut. I think so. I think you should stay like this always <laughs> for the rest of the year. Oh, no, 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 no. no. There's a reason for it. Well... The reason why I'm like this, uh, I, I thought I'd, I'd share it with you people, is, is one of my schoolboys has got leukemia. It was found out the other day. So uh, what we did was uh, all the boys at school and, and that all got together uh -huh. and uh, we shaved our heads. And we, to, to have a shave, you've got to pay, uh, pay 20 bucks. And we went along. And if they reached a certain amount, an educator would shave their heads. And if they reached a little bit more, then two female staff shaved their heads. So... Um, we went quite nice and low, and I'm very proud of my boy. So, That's and awesome. I hope that um, he comes right. You know? That's awesome. Hey, <laughs> I hope for the best. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Llewellyn. So, guys, as you know, you already know we are such an awesome show. So, from us today, there will be 30 minutes extra added on to the Grade 12 Life Science Show. Did you hear me right? Yes, from seven. To 7.30, we will have an After Earth special, guys. I hope that you guys can all join us, you and your family members. As I said to the great tens, your aunts, your uncles, your mothers, your sisters, your dogs, your kittens, your ki chickens, your leopards, if you have leopards, your jaguar, whatever animal is in that After Earth, bring it along with you so that you can watch After Earth well, our After Earth special, because we will be having lessons, guys, awesome lessons that are taken from the show. We will be going through them, as well as a live feed from Macmillan, guys. They're having this awesome launch as we speak. They're going to be having a launch to launch their digital ebook range, and we will be chatting to one of the awesome Macmillan people. Of course, thank you, Macmillan, for sponsoring this show right now, right here. But at 7 to 7.30, I need need you guys there guys you guys really really need to join us for now for now you guys can jump onto facebook and on facebook you'll be able to see that i've posted a lot of information for you guys on after earth on the 7 to 7 30 part on how you can enter the awesome competition that you can win two tickets to go see after earth you can go with me you can go with the shaven headed llewellyn you can choose who you want to go with because we are awesome and we're ready and steady for you guys so grab those pens, grab anything that you need. I will be updating you throughout the show. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash learn extra for any information or to post any questions that you need. Okay, hope you got that all. Over to you, Llewellyn. <laughs> Look at his face. Wow, <laughs> oh, well, that's a lot. I know. Just for the record, Grady Lemons. <coughs> Do not think that this is only for grade 12s. Yes. Okay, this movie helps you understand things that we teach in grade 11 and grade 10 and grade 12. So you know what, guys? You will be learning something, but outside of a classroom, and it's not boring. How cool is that? How it's awesome in a movie, and it's fun. And it has Will Smith and Jaden Smith. What more do we need? Ah, quit. <laughs> He's a very good actor. <laughs> it's not that good. Right. Cellular respiration. Now, we've been doing um, nutrition and all of that. Right now... It's all cool to get it into your body, but now what do we do from there? Now, cellular respiration, a lot of people think that it's this. <sighs> it's not, right? This means cellular means deep down inside every cell, right? And respiration is how we make energy. Okay, so this is how we take food and make our energy. And our food, we want glucose. Can you remember that? Okay, so let's have a look. What are we going to look at today? First of all, we're going to have a look at the definitions of cellular res respiration. Okay, simple, easy, very easy to get hold of it, so you don't have to stress. Okay, we're going to define aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration. Just remember air, very important. Aerobic respiration. Okay, we're going to explain the role of glycolysis. Okay, now glycolysis is very important. Okay, that is the primary part where we start making things, right? We start making energy. Okay, then we're going to have a look at the Krebs cycle, yes, and we're going to have a look at oxidative phosphorylation. Okay, having a look at those things. Now, 
this whole system here, if I look at it, this one, uh, the Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation, right? Those there are aerobic, where is it? Aerobic respiration. Very important. Okay, now to speed it up, I'm going to use a GL, right? GL for glycolysis. I'm going to use a K for the Krebs cycle and I'm going to use oxidative, let's say OP, right? Oxidative phosphorylation, just to abbreviate it and you guys understand what's going on. Right, okay, let's have a look at it. The definition of anaerobic respiration. Now, can you remember the first one was, where is it? There, aerobic res respiration, we need air, so oxygen, okay? Anaerobic, we don't. Okay, just putting it out there. Next thing, we can explain alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. So when you're doing sports, ladies and gents, right, and you get stiff and all of that, and everybody says, oh, you've got lactic acid in the muscles, I'm going to explain that to you, right? Okay, so, and we, we're going to look at the role, how anaerobic respiration gets used in industries, okay? So if we look at, I'm just going to give you a clue, alcohol, right? It's always the worst. And lastly, we're going to do some practicals that you have to know. Right? I didn't do the practicals because we're using live animals and um, it takes a long time to get the pra practicals going. Right, so let's start it off. Nice and easy, the definition of cellular respiration. Now guys, this can be more complex. I've made it into a nice, simple, simple form. Okay, so let's have a look at it. It's the chemical, it's the simply put chemical energy, if I get my pen right, chemical energy is transferred to ATP. Now remember, ATP, I'm always talking about ATP. That is where we get our energy from, right? And the chemicals we're talking about is very simple. It's called glucose. Okay, remember when we stick food in our mouth and all of that? We had a look at your starches and uh, your, your carbohydrates, and remember it makes it into a sugar, which is glucose. That's what we're looking for. Proteins go to the muscles. This is the food. This is where we get our energy, glucose and um, well, starch and carbohydrates. Okay, so that's why people say you mustn't eat so much of it because you're going to get fat if you don't do exercises. Okay, there we go. And the ATP molecules provide energy, as a simple, for the process of all the cells. Nice and easy. That is the definition of cellular respiration. Okay, then, if I bring this down, this whole system, this making of energy, happens in the mitochondria. Now, when you were much younger, and all the younger sub subjects, you always knew about the mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell. Can you remember that? I can remember that. That's nice and easy. You should re remember that. Powerhouse of the cell. The one that goes through photosynthesis is, can mm. you remember? Mm, I can. Chloroplasts, yeah. right? Nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> this one is very important, okay? This is the powerhouse of the cell. And if I have a look at it, you'll see two membranes. Okay, you'll get the outer membrane, which is, let's say, that, no, let's get a nicer color here, a uh, bit of a pink, if I can find it, there it is, a bit of pink, there's the outer membrane, and there's an inner membrane that has folds in it. Okay, the inner membrane that has folds, this is where stuff's going to happen. Okay, that inner membrane is called your Christi, oh, Christ, Christa, sorry, your Christa. Okay, and inside, so this area here, okay, I'm going to leave for you guys to answer it because I know I haven't put it anywhere. So please send an, uh, on Facebook. It is Facebook. Yes, huh? that is Facebook. Send on Facebook. I want to know the, uh, the answer to that. And right. I'll be waiting for the answer. That's it. So I'm not going to give it until we get to the end and no one gets it. And then I'll give it to you. Okay. Right. Okay. So that is very important. Now, a micrometer. Can you see it says underneath here, micrometer? Okay. You guys should know my micrometer quite easily. Okay. A micrometer. How do you display micrometers? Remember, millimeters is two M's. And kilometers is km, right? Micrometers, very simple. It looks like a P first, right? And then it's got meter, yes. The only problem is it's not going to be PM, is it? Okay, so I'll show you how we actually do it. What you do is if I get the eraser and I do that and I take that piece out, can you see it? That is called your micrometer. That's how they display it. It looks like a half P mixture with an M, okay? That's a mic micrometer, okay? Hopefully you don't, don't forget it. Let's go into the crux of the matter now, and we start looking at aerobic respiration, okay? Now, you get your anaerobic and you get your aerobic, okay? 
aerobic gives us a lot more energy. Anaerobic doesn't. Okay? Anaerobic normally happens when you do, the best way I normally explain it is, anaerobic is doing a 100 meter sprint or 50 meter sprints. You don't need to breathe. Okay? If you're doing the comrades, you go through aerobic respiration which means you need air. So while they're making energy, to make this energy, you have to do the most important thing. Are you watching? I'm going to show you. <sighs> I can see you moving with me there, <laughs> right? You've got to breathe. You need the oxygen. It's very important, right? So this whole system has got to do with oxygen. Okay, so let's have a look at it. We need to make ATPs, as it says, as many ATPs as possible. The more ATPs we have, the more energy we've got. Okay, so this whole concept is very simple. Let's bring it down. We have this simple little molecule, okay, C6H12O6. You have to know that one, C6H12O6. And that there is a glucose molecule. So if we start off here, we take in a glucose molecule, right? The starch, the carbohydrates, the normal sugar, the sweets, the, all of those things, right? The glucose molecule. Right? We also need to take in this O2 molecule, which is oxygen. Okay? And from there, now we need to go to anaero uh, aerobic respiration. So the enzymes and all of that. Aerobic respiration. And what do we have at the end? What do we breathe out? Kat, what do we breathe out? Carbon dioxide. There we go. Carbon dioxide. Okay? What do we drink? Water. Water. Now, if you have a look at it, if you go to your mother's um, mirror, and don't tell her I told you this, <laughs> and you go, <sighs> what can you do on it? You can draw <laughs> funny little patterns. Right. Now, that there is moisture, and that is water. So we give off water. We give off carbon dioxide. And at the end of this whole process, this is very important, we end off with 38 ATPs. That is a lot of energy. A lot. And I want you to remember 38. Because when it comes to the anaerobic, it's not as much. There actually only is two. Which is a big difference. Do you, you get where I'm coming from? Okay, so that is the whole sum that you need. And if you have a look at it, it's actually a balanced equation. Okay? Now, a balanced equation means you've got these other numbers in front. It means if I've put in uh, six... Well, actually, yeah, 12 hyd hydrogen is got to be, if I put in 12 hydrogen, yeah, there'll be 12 hydrogen there. Can, can you get where I'm coming from? It's just a balance. Okay, now, I'm going to try and go through this because this is one of my favorite sections. Okay, this is one of my favorite sections. And that means that I'm going to try and explain it to you as much as possible. And also remember that I'm going to, most importantly, I'm going to show you some stuff. And for me to make you understand it, I'm going to add in a little bit more. Right? And I'm going to tell you if it's not used or you don't have to use it, but it'll make you understand better. Right. So please stick with me. Let's start off with it. Okay. This year, there are three stages in aerobic respiration. Three stages. They work with each other. Okay. The respiration, namely glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation. Those are the three. Okay. Now, you must understand, without the one, you can't have the other, okay? The most important one, of course, is the glycolysis. You need that. And once you have that stuff and you have oxygen, you can move on to the next section. Once you've moved on to the next section, you can move on to the next section. Do you, you, you with me? Okay, so something to remember. If you have oxygen, you can carry on going. If you don't have oxygen, we need to stop at a certain point. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to get into the crux of it. Because if I get into the crux of it, I'm going to lose you as soon as we go to a break. So what I need is I need, need you to get up, nice big stretch, right? Because you're going to get ready. Get that brain working. I don't have hair anymore. But get the brain working and let it go strong, right? And uh, when I come back, you need to have your thinking caps on because we're going to bring it like never before. Awesome stuff. Cool. Thank you for that. <laughs> while, you guys wa while you guys are stretching and moving your heads around, even if you have no hair, 
what you should do <laughs> is just stay in the room so that you guys can watch the After Earth clip, guys. We'll be playing it for you during the break. So maybe don't go too far. Just stay and do your stretches right in front of the TV so that you don't miss out. And I'll be telling you more about it after the break. See you just now. I hope you guys really enjoyed that clip. I really, really cannot wait to see Will Smith and Jaden Smith in that After Earth movie. Of course, I can't wait because it's educational, but also because they happen to be my favorite actors right now because I've been seeing them so much on the show. So I hope that you guys are ready and steady to enter the competition. I'm supposed to give you the code word now, right? So you need me to give you the code word so that you guys can run over to www.learnx extra.co.za forward slash after earth now the code word is going to be posted on facebook right after i've said it but listen closely for it because the code word is fossils guys it's fossils so make sure that when you enter you type in the code word so that you can stand a chance to win double tickets to go see after Earth with Will Smith and Jaden Smith. And of course, I want to remind you guys to join us from 7 to 7.30 today because there will be an After Earth special. So make sure that you're doing that, guys. Please, please, please jump over to Facebook right now because there's going to be much more posted on the page. Of course, the, the competition closes at 12 a.m. midnight, but also today I will be announcing a winner for grade 11. So make sure that you're tuned in right till the end of the show because the winner will be announced at the end of the show so don't go anywhere guys you know here we learn more and we learn extra and we do much more fun things than you guys think we do i know you guys already say learn extra is so much fun but we try to make it more fun every day over to you llewellyn she forgot to me the most important thing out um i asked a question oh yes and <laughs> i got some answers and wow it's good come let me Tell me, Kat, what okay. is it? Okay, I'm telling you the answer. The first person who actually answered on my Facebook page <coughs> is Boy Tumelo. Boy Tumelo. And her answer, do you want to hear her answer? I want to hear her answer. Her Let it answer. Rip. Please repeat the question, actually. Okay, so my answer the question was, okay, the mitochondria has two membranes, okay? The inner membrane is the crystal. What do we find inside the crystal? What is that part called? Okay. And what did Boitumelo say? Boitumelo said matrix. Very nice. That's matrix. what it is. It's the matrix, right? Well I'm done, sure bro. you've watched it, Keanu Reeves and all of those yeah. brothers, right? Oh. That, the matrix. Like that. It yeah. means there's something <laughs> weird stuff going in there. But right. So now we're going to start. The first part we're going to go through is glycolysis. Now, glycolysis, the main point of glycolysis, right, is to make two things, right? First of all, we need hydrogen, and second of all, we need pyruvic acid. So I'm going to show you here. It's an energy-rich hydrogen and pyruvic acid. Now, we can read all day, but I need to show you this stuff, because if I show you, we're going to get somewhere. Right, so what I've done is I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go ooh, all the way down, and I'm not going to show you any of that, and I'm going to give it to you. First of all, we go to glucose. Right, so if I've got your normal... Glucose molecule, GOC, right? Or I can write it C6H12O6, right? I've got the glucose molecule. Now, when glucose is taken in by us, which is very important, okay, we need to break it down. Glucose is pointless if we can't get the energy it's giving us. You get what I'm trying to say? So the first thing we need to do is we need to break it down into a little bit more, um, let's say, simple sugar, okay? Now, you don't need to know these sugars' names, but the better that this one, I think it's a good idea if you know it. Okay, so we're going to break glucose, right? I'm missing my L, can you believe it? Glucose, we're going to break down into fructose. So I'm going to break it down. How do I break it down? If I want to break down a wall, this is the way you remember this. If I have to break down a wall, I need to use energy. Okay, now you all know, if I'm not mistaken, what ATP is. Okay, it's a denison triphosphate, and that is where we get our energy from. That's how we store our energy. So to break this, we actually need to use energy. So we're going to take ATP, right? We're going to take that, 
and we're going to put it back to what it used to be. Can you remember how that is? So if we take ATP and we move it back, we're going to get ADP, adenosine diphosphate, uh, phosphate plus an extra phosphate, which we know because it's three phosphates, it's only two plus one's given off. The energy that's inside the bond between the two phosphates, that's the energy we need. Okay, you happy with that? Now, to break this, we need two ATPs. Two ATPs, which means we're going to make two ADPs. You happy with that? It's, it's not that difficult. Right, Kat, are you following me? I'm following you. As long as you're following me and I haven't lost you, then I know the people on that side of the camera yeah. is like phenomenal. And besides, they let us know when you've lost them yeah. and they haven't That's said right. anything. So you, as long as you let me know. Right, as quick as you can. Now, that part is very important. Okay, now, when you get to this, to fructose, fructose is a very, it's, it's quite unstable. Now, I'm going to write glucose's formula here, right, which is C6, I've got the wrong side of it, H12, O6. Remember that formula. Okay, don't forget that formula. It's very important. Now, that means it's a six-carbon compound because it's got six carbons. It's most important. Six-carbon compounds. Fructose is unstable as a six-carbon compound. Okay, you're happy with this? And it breaks down into two, three-carbon compounds. So what happens is if this is also a six carbon compound, right? I'm going to break that up into two, let me just move this down a bit more, into two, three carbon compounds, three carbon compounds. You happy with that? Okay, so that's two. Remember we had six and now we're breaking them up into two. That's just halving them. You with me? So if I, if I had to put it down, I would say Three carbons, right? So you get three carbons. Let's go back up so you can see the whole sum. What's half of 12? Hydrogen, six. And oxygen, three. So let me erase this so that you don't get confused. Okay. There it is. Three carbons, six hydrogens, and three oxygens. Okay. Nice and easy. That means that that is that molecule. And this one is exactly the same. Are you with me? Okay, hopefully that is very important. Now, if this carries on, okay, I need to make that other word, those other big letters. They are called pyruvic acid. Okay, now, if I lengthen this page up a bit more, now everything that we do here, am I right, we can put onto the net so that you can see it. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So you've got this. Don't worry about it. This is just nice and easy. I'm trying to explain it. Okay, when I go from a three carbon compound, I want to bring it all the way down to that special thing called pyruvic acid. Right? There it is. It's pyruvic acid. We're happy. That's what we need to do. This part here, you can draw a line, and that is the end of glycolysis. Okay, it's very simple. So I'm going to go up to the top and then I'm going to add in a few things. Glucose break down to fructose. Fructose goes into a three, two three carbon compounds and the two three carbon compounds become two pyruvic acids. Okay, now to go from a six, the six, uh, this three carbon compound to pyruvic acid, two things are made, which is cool. It's awesome. Two things are made. First of all, it gives off hydrogen. Okay, so hydrogen is given off. Same with the side, hydrogen. And two ATPs are made automatically for free, for nothing, right? So we're going to have two ATPs. Yes. And two ATPs. It's very easy. Okay. The other molecule you're going to have to learn. Now, remember in the beginning when I said to you guys that ADP is the carrier of energy. Okay? You need to remember that. Now, I need to take this hydrogen molecule somewhere. And you can't just leave it alone. Right? If you leave it alone, it's just going to hang around there, not go anywhere. 
So it's very important. We need to take it away. And if you, as yourself, need to go to Cape Town or, or Durban or Johannesburg, and I live in a completely different place, I need to climb in a vehicle. Right, Kat? Yes, you do. Climb into a vehicle. So I need a vehicle. And this vehicle that can carry hydrogen, remember this very carefully, is called, and you don't need to know the big word, it's just the small word. I'm not even going to give you the big word, just the small word. Okay? It's called NAD. NAD. So, of course, if I put the hydrogen onto it, it becomes, let's check, N A D H. You got it. N A D H. There it is. And of course, the same I'm going to get here N A D H. <coughs> nice and easy, nice and simple. Now, glycolysis is just we're trying to make something. I'm not cared about energy at the moment. Okay, I'm just trying to make, I'm trying to actually get the pyruvic acid, which is important, right? And I'm trying to get these molecules. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way back up, and I'm going to put, where's pyruvic acid or glycolysis? There we go. In glycolysis, okay, what have we made all together? We've made ATP, ATP, right? We've made NADH, and we've made pyruvic acid, which is PY, where is it? R pyruvic acid. Those are the three things we make in glycolysis. Means nothing to you at the moment. Absolutely nothing. But keep it safe. It's like shopping. Put it in your basket. We'll get back to it later. Right. Okay. That is what glycolysis is for. You happy with that? Just for the record, how many NADHs are made? Can you remember? Let's pull it down. How many NADHs are made? All the way down. There's one over there, am I right? And there's one over here, am I right? So how many all together? There's two. Cool. So let's go back up and right there. How many? There is two made. Okay, you with me? Now, you've all learned about homeostasis, hey? I'm sure you know about homeostasis. Very important. Homeostasis, if I go all the way down, I want you to have a look at something. How many ATPs are made? Okay, let's have a look. There's two this side, and there's two that side. So all together, there's four. But remember, the body wants to be in homeostasis, which means if I've used some, I must replace it immediately. So let's just have a good look here. Up, 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 up. Look at this. Two ATP. I used energy to break from glucose to fructose. So using that energy means two of them at the bottom here, these two are going to disappear. They're going to go back up to here where the fructose is made, right? Back up to replace these two. So all in all, how many ATPs have we made? Okay, let's go up and put it down. It's very simple. We have made two ATPs. And how many pyruvic acids? Two. It's two of everything, right? We're going to put that in our basket. Let's put it one side. You happy with me? Are we all getting there? Cool. Now, the next one I'm going to have a look at is the Krebs cycle. Now, the Krebs cycle is where I need to make more things. The first one, glycolysis, we make things. The Krebs cycle, we make things. Okay? The, um, I always call it the electron transport system, is where we take the things we've made and put them into energy. Right. So, let's have a look. The Krebs cycle. Okay? The Krebs cycle breaks down pyruvic acid. Very simple. Okay? Uh, let's see. Hydrogen, carbon dioxide are made. Hydrogen and carbon dioxide is made. So that's the off product, the things that we give away. Okay, so let's go back and I'm going to draw it for you. Right, very easy. Let's go all the way down. There we go. And I'm going to end off at pyruvic acid. Can you see it? How many pyruvic acids do I have? Two. But when we do the Krebs cycle, we focus on one of them, but whatever happens to this one happens to this one at the same time. Am I right? Right? Whatever happens to the one happens to the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this one. Whatever I do, we're going to do it on both sides. So what I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. I'm going to page up so we can see there. And I'm going to say your pyruvic 
acid, there it is. Okay? Whatever happens here, happens there. Okay, to get pyruvic acid into the Krebs cycle, two things are made. First of all, what is given off? It's very easy. N, a, a, a hydrogen is given off. So what do we make? N, A, D, H, okay? And a carbon is given off, okay? A carbon, there it is, and a C. What is carbon joined to? How do we get rid of carbon? Okay, how do we get rid of carbon? Uh, I'll whisper to you and you tell me. Exactly. She's clever. Can you believe it? Let me show you. That's we how. We exhale it. Okay, <laughs> carbon dioxide. We exhale it. So we need to join it with oxygen and we get O2. Okay, very simple. That is how we start the Krebs cycle. Very easy, very simple. Okay, once you get to know this, the rest of the stuff is going to be <coughs> basic, simple, and easy. Right. Before I go into the Krebs cycle, because once I'm on there, I cannot stop. Another stretch. What do you think? I think we need another break. I definitely think so. Awesome. Because uh, I need a stretch. You need a stretch. <laughs> so this break, you guys can stretch a bit. Go get yourselves a glass of water. But join us. Join us as fast as you can, guys. Because the next segment, as you heard, is going to be amazing. But also, I've got lots more to tell you guys. During the break, you can also get your notes on learnextra.co.za forward slash live. Okay, so get your notes, the notes that Llewellyn is working on now. But there's also notes from last week, the previous week, ne next week, maybe we'll see, you know, if you guys are lucky enough, maybe we'll put them up so that you guys are ahead of the rest. Next week, I've got some stuff on uh, that movie. Oh, and we've got some stuff on that movie next week. So see you right after the break. Welcome back, Mindsetters. I hope that you guys had a really awesome break. I've got stuff to tell you about the career in Daba. I told the great tens, now I'm telling you guys that you guys can register on www.careerindaba.co.za and there you can register to attend over 60 workshops for free, guys. I don't think you know how amazing that is. These are workshops where you guys can obviously learn more and learn extra. And we will be there, us at Mindset. We will be there. So come to the Santon Convention Center from the 20th to the 22nd of June. But you guys first have to register on careerndouble.co.za in order to attend the workshops. And they're for free. Can you imagine that? That's brilliant. I know. I don't get anything for free, except for a haircut. Except for a haircut for free. <laughs> but hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, I know I might be rushing it or you might not understand it that clearly, but hopefully <coughs> I am getting to you. And I know that it, this is very difficult, but you must understand. When I was younger and we had to learn this, when it got to the Krebs cycle, which is the part we're doing now, it became so complicated, right? So this is, to me, it makes sense in my brains, right? So... If you are getting stuck, just send a message immediately. And guys, the comments that you're sending, you're gonna make me blush right through my top uh, of my head. Yeah, I can see your head is already right going all red. pinkish there. He's the nicest <laughs> teacher ever. Jeez. Well, let's get back to it. Now, if I say to you a cycle, it means a circle. Right, so let's do this. We've got the circle. I'm just gonna move it down a little bit so you can get there. Let's say it's a complete circle. Right, you happy with that? It's a complete circle. That means it's a cycle. It means it goes that way, and it carries on going, and it carries on going, and it carries on going, and then it goes back to its original form, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, just so that we can get there, I'm going to move the CO2 up here, CO2, just so that I've got the space there, and we can work a little bit more, right? So if you stick with me for two seconds, there we go. Okay, now... I'm going to bring this down. This pyruvic acid that joins into this Krebs cycle, or should I say, the K cycle, right? It has just lost. Remember, how many carbons was this? Can you remember? It was a three-carbon compound, okay? Well, three, jeez. It's a three-carbon compound. You with me? Did I give off a carbon? So how many is left? Just a two, okay? So this part here is a two-carbon compound. Not interested, extra information for you, okay? It's just extra. You don't need to know it, but it's something that you must understand. 
The Krebs cycle here always starts with a four carbon compound, right? I add another two in, right? Oh no, that's going to irritate me the whole day, right? I add another two in, there it is. I add another two in, makes it how many on here? Once it's added, how many is left? Six carbons. Am I right? Okay, so remember, if I just have a look at that cycle, it has to be a four this side. Means if I've added two, I've got six. What is going to happen to get it back to four? I've got to give off two. So the first thing we know is we're going to give off somewhere in here, because you don't need to know exactly where, okay? Somewhere in there, we're going to give off two carbons. So somewhere we're going to give off a carbon and a carbon. How do we give off a carbon? How do we get rid of carbon? We join it to oxygen to create. Cat. Hello. What do we, how do we get rid of carbon? We, <laughs> the clever girl, <laughs> breathe it out. CO2, very nice. You happy? So that's, you don't need to know about the six and four. I just want to give you the information. Because what we give off is carbon dioxide. So I'm going to take this. There's two carbon dioxides that are made, right? Two carbon dioxides that are made. Erase. That's the first thing. You happy? Inside this Krebs cycle, okay, we're going to give off four hydrogens. Okay, three very rich hydrogens means it's got a lot of energy, and one that doesn't have a lot. Okay, so let's get rid of the three with a lot of energy. We're going to give off three hydrogen. There it is, three hyd hydrogen, okay? And each one of them, how do we transport it? We use NAD. Okay, so N-A-D-H <coughs> with a hydrogen. And how many did I say? Three of them. You happy? It's not difficult. What do I have left? I have one hydrogen that is not, it hasn't got a lot of energy. So if I'm rich, yeah, like this, right? Let's, let's ask Kat. Kat, if you were rich and you had to go somewhere. Yeah, anyway. What would you drive in? I wouldn't drive if I was rich. What would you do? I would maybe fly. No, no, just go. Um, just I'd float. No, not I would. Give me something to work with, yeah. Um... A limousine. A limousine. I like that. A limousine. A so limousine. A limousine. Nice and big. Yeah. Right. So the NAD is like a limousine. It carries big, expensive, very enriched hydrogen molecules. Okay. Mm. Now, if I have another hydrogen molecule that has not got a lot of money, right? It's the average Joe. In other words, me. The average Joe. I would get into a normal car. I wouldn't get a chauffeur to drive me around or, or a limousine, which I so would love. I would love a drive right? with a limousine. <laughs> I've been on once, ever, in my ever. entire life. <laughs> it was good. So limousine is for the big, rich hydrogens, right? The other one is a little car. And the little car, the little carrier, okay, he has a new one. This is the only one we use. It's called F A D and two hydrogens, listen carefully, it's very important, two hydrogens join that. Two of the same hydrogens on one molecule. So we're sharing a car. So not only can I drive in one car, but I'm going to share it with another person. Do you understand? So it's F-A-D-H-2. Hopefully you've got that. So this is what's made so far. And not only that, when we make F-A-D-H-2, just after that, we make one ATP molecule. So I'll also create one ATP molecule, and it's one FADH. You happy with that? Are you with me? Is it, I hope you're not, you, you've got it all. That's, that's what you need to know about the Krebs cycle. It's very simple. Okay, so you with me. Now, here's a key thing. I'm going to pull this up slightly to go to this pyruvic acid. Remember, just let me go here, and a circle. Okay, if I have a look, pull it up, uh, down, how many carbon dioxides? Two CO2s. Down again, it's going to be three NADHs, one FAD, and one ATP. So let's go there. Three 
NADH, 1 FADH, 2 and 1 ATP. Be happy, okay? So it's the same. It's exactly the same. Can, can you see that? I copied it. So all in all, all in all, think about it. How many does the Krebs cycle give us? There's three NADH2, uh, NADHs there, and there's three NADHs. How many NADHs? Six. So we just add them all up. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the top, and I'm going to put it into its right place, where there's Krebs cycle. Okay, I need to keep certain things. Things that I want to put in my basket and things I don't. Okay, the things I want to put in my basket are energy-enriched things. So I want to keep things like ATP. I want to keep things like NADH. I want to keep things like FADH. Do I want to keep carbon dioxide? Cat. Um, no. No, we want to get rid of it. So am I going to put it in my basket? No, we're going to put it in the dustbin as we walk past. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? Just chuck it away. Just chuck it away. We don't need it. So let's go into the basket. Okay, Krebs cycle. We need NADHs. How many do we have? Remember, three from the one, three from the other gives us six. We're happy. Okay. How many um, FADHs? FADHs. Two. How many do we have? One from the one, one from the other. We have two. Very nice. If I have a look, how many ATPs are made? One in the one Krebs cycle, one in the other. So we have two. Two ATP. Now, is that all we get from the Krebs cycle? Because this is the part, and I'm not lying to you, this is the part that people struggle with. Okay? It's very important to understand. Most people forget the most important thing. Okay? Let's just have a look what it is. If I go down to glycolysis, glucose, fructose, two pyruvic acids. You with me? Okay? Then I talk about the Krebs cycle, and people go to this. Yes. So we've done that. You're happy. But how, what did we get from making pyruvic acid join the Krebs cycle? Don't forget those out. Let's go up and have a look. What do we have? We have NADH. Did you see it? And not only do we have one here, but we have one here as well. So there's another two. Can you see what I'm saying? So if I go back up to our little <coughs> basket, right at the top, do I really have six? Don't. I have more. I have eight. I have one by the, py the, the pyruvic acid. Okay, so I'm going to erase the six, and I'm going to make sure that you get eight. I did that for a reason, so that you can understand it, right? I'm going to make it eight. You're all with me. That is glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. It's just filling the basket. You got me? Very important. Okay, now, the next one, if I'm, not, if I'm getting here, is called... Uh, uh, oxidative phosphorylation, right? That is where we use things. I mean, think about it. If I had to make a techie, right? I would say glycolysis is getting the material, okay? Well, let's say the top. The Krebs cycle is getting the soul, and the oxidative phosphorylation is where they put it together. They put everything together. Okay, now, it's also called the electron transport system okay and that is where we make our atps okay you got to concentrate quite a bit with this part because with this part people get confused as well okay this is but this is not that bad it's quite cool okay the, if i have a look at this it looks like a bunch of stairs okay so let me just put it in so you can understand it so goes that's all it is that's all it is it's a bunch of stairs. And at the end of this, we're trying to make 38 ATPs. Can you remember? 38 ATPs. That's how much we want at the end. So let's have a look at it. This is where we're going to send the NADHs. Do I need to send the ATPs there? No. It's ready ATP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put ATPs in there, and we're going to take it from there. Okay. So let's see. Glycolysis, I'm going to write it here. When it is uh, glycolysis, right? 
Let's see. Can you remember what, what, what we made? We made two ATPs, right? How many NADH, uh, NADHs did we make? We made two NADHs. Uh, if I can do that. Right, NADHs. You with me? If we go to CREB, we made eight NADHs. Right? You happy? We had two FADHs. Right? And how many ATPs? We had two ATPs. Is that everything? Let's go have a look to make sure. I don't want to get you guys lost. So let's have a look. There. We made NADH, NADH, how many are there? Two. ATPs, how many did we make? We made four, but we had to replace the one we used earlier. Can you remember? Okay, so we've got two. Let's see if there's anything more. Nothing. Now we've got pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid goes into the Krebs cycle. What happens? <coughs> we make, just before it goes in, we have NADH. So there's one, there's two, right? Plus the three is, two plus three is five. Plus another three from this one here is eight. FADHs, one year, one year. So that's two. ATPs, one year, one year. We cool. So let's have a look at it. There it is. That is what we've got in our basket so far. You with me? So now let me show you how this whole oxidative phosphorylation works. It's not very difficult. Okay. This is how it works. Every time, every time an NADH jumps off a stair, what is it doing? Gives off one bit of energy, and that little bit of energy makes one ATP. You happy? That is if it's an NADH. So let's have a look. Here's an NADH. NADH molecule. You happy? It jumps down. As it hits there, it gives off energy. Okay? Jumps off, it gives off energy, right? It jumps off and gives energy. You with me so far? Every time one energy is given off, we make one ATP. So A, T, P, A, T, P, A, T, P. And when it's done the last jump, remember it is hyd hydrogen we're looking for. All we do is we add it to an oxygen molecule because we breathe it in. That's nice and easy. And we make, what is hydrogen and oxygen together? I water, H2O. Clever girl. H2O. So we make H2O and we give it off. So now, for every NADH molecule, right, we make three ATP molecules. Okay? So remember that. Every NAD, we make three ATPs. FADH, on the other hand, remember, it's not as strong. It's not as, as, hasn't got as much energy. It only makes two. So FADH can only come in at this level. FADH, and that's going to go once, twice, and also join to hydrogen. That is going to give two. So for every NADH, we're going to get three ATPs. You got it? FAD, for every FAD, we're going to get two um, a, T, P's. You, you with me so far? Kat, are you getting this? I'm with you. I are you with me so far? So yep. that is where we make ATPs. So what we're going to do, look at this carefully. We need to make how many? Can you remember? 38 ATPs. Let's, let's see if we've got it right. Okay. Let's see if we've got it right. Up here, right here. ATPs, we have two. Right. So let's calculate it. It's two. Yes. Two NADHs. Two for every one gives th uh, three ATPs. So if there's two times three gives us? Six. Clever girl, cat. Six. Very nice. You happy? Eight NADH twos. Oh, well, NADH. Let's see. What's eight times three? Come at me. Tick tick tock, tick tock. Ah, Spit it out. 24. <laughs> 24 <laughs> ATPs. Right? You with me? Then, FADHs, for every one FADH, it makes two ATP molecules. So, two times two is four. We have another four. 
And then we have two ATPs here at the bottom, another two. So let's calculate if we can get all this right. Those two, two and six, right, let's cross them out. Two plus six plus two is 10. Am I right? Yes. 10 plus 20 is 30, right? Mm -hmm. 30 plus four is 34, plus four is? 38. 38 ATPs. I hope you're happy with that. Now, just before I go on, remember <coughs> this whole thing over here where I am. Uh, glycolysis. If we get to glycolysis and we don't get anywhere, if there's no oxygen, it doesn't go to pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid just becomes lactic acid and goes and gets stuck in the mud, oh, in your muscles. Right. Everything's on here. Guys, get it in. Thank you, yours. Llewellyn. <laughs> so you have the notes, guys. You have everything it takes to actually do incredibly well in this section. So remember to learn more, learn extra. Before I say goodbye, the winner for the two double, the two tickets of After Earth is Mukhosi, Mukhosi Khaile. So that's Mukhosi Khaile. You are the winner. Congratulations. Remember to send us your details so that those double tickets can come over to you. Okay. So congrats. Invite whoever you need to invite and enjoy. Remember, guys, join us from 7 to 7.30 to learn more about After Earth. Cheers, guys.